Hey, what's up? This is Todd Smith, and I'm back with another video. In this video, there's gonna be a lot of reverb because I pretty much took everything out of my room. And there's gonna be this bird tweeting because it's a miserable bastard and it just likes to tweet its ass off all day. But other than that, I mean, I hope the video is gonna be very, you know, pleasurable to your experience. As you can see, one reason why I sound like an echo reverb machine is because I took everything out of my room. It's because I had entirely too much gear in front of me at one time. So I've literally dissected everything and I've taken the table away that used to have some, look at all that trash I still need to clean up. It's, it's, it's a sad situation. I, moving all this stuff actually exposed a lot of just dirt that has been kind of building there and it's noticeable on the wooden floor. But what I'm trying to say is I'm dissecting things down. I'm going away from a massive setup into a smaller, kind of more smaller setup. <laughs> yeah, that's the reality of it. I'm cutting down my pieces. I'm gonna start on individual things. Oh yeah, that's another thing. You might hear some traffic because my normal phone doesn't, my normal microphone doesn't pick that up. It's pretty good at keeping that away, but I'm using my phone, so this is a little ghetto. And instead of having everything at once, I'm gonna have a closet full of gear. It's like my, what? Is this like a VST folder? It's pretty much what this is, like, right? It's my VST folder of what you have in Sonic SD1. And that's not a V. It's not a VFX SD, it's an SD1 in wolves, sheeps, clothing, whatever you want to say. It, the guts are SD, I know, I'm going to hear a million comments about that. Uh, I have a Casio CZ behind it, a big CZ, not the little CZ, big mother load. Waldorf, the micro core that started this whole entire channel. Oh my, Behringer Analog up in here with the Op6. 707 over here in the JDXA in the corner. My idea is to focus on individual instruments, maybe link them together in one twos at most, not really chain much more than a few at a time. Maybe more if I'm working with a more analog setup like the Behringer rack and stuff like that, because obviously it's a trio out the gate. Um, you know, maybe expand a little bit more with that stuff, but in general, kind of slim down what I'm working with at once. I think I'd work better in a smaller setup and focusing on individual instruments and maybe expanding on them with a few other pieces. And I think in general, that'll work better for YouTube itself because, you know, focusing on just one centerpiece in a big studio all the time is less interesting to the algorithm than if you focus on individual pieces and go through different pieces and showcase different parameters and setups and concepts and you know strengths of individual pieces of gear you're looking at an entirely different um, way of thinking and on top of this, I'm honestly, I hate to say it, I'm not done, even though I have a closet full of gear and I say I have too much gear. Because even though I have too much gear, I mean in front of me at one time, I'm actually gonna probably invest into some smaller, more budget pieces, kind of like the Volca and things that I had when I started this channel. Cause I think those smaller pieces will be very fast and easy to pull out compared to some of these bigger pieces. Um, and obviously I can get some of those at a very cheap, cheap price at this point. And it'll be kind of full circle back to where I started this channel, but with a lot better audio and video than when I had those pieces originally. So that's a, you know, a way I'm thinking of moving forward with this channel. And again, I'm sorry for my miserable fucking bird. If you want to know the little, little beast that's creating all the havoc in the background of this video, this is him. I saved him as a baby. Uh, he does. His name is Bird because I don't know. He's a bird, and Bird is a good pet. Uh, 
He's just loud. All right, you having fun up there? He just took a bath. So that's one reason why he's extra loud. Yeah, all right, Bert. You do you, man. <laughs>